Hey guys, so I try to get on here and do updates that are subject specific so that you kind of have a sense of where we're at based on our beginning of the year videos about what I'm planning to do and what we've started doing and then, well, how'd that actually go? So, as you know, uh, my daughter struggles with dyslexia, so, or as you know, if you've been around here for a while, um, so we... We did a lot of programs. We did Calvert homeschool for our very first year. That was when she was like in kindergarten and we were doing a, you know, box. Everything's the same level curriculum. It did not work out well for us. Would not recommend. Um, and then we did um, the good and the beautiful level K one and the first half of two. And it just it, it was lovely and we really wanted it to work for us, but it just felt all over the place. Um, I couldn't figure out the structure of what they were learning and why and when, and neither could she. And it just felt like we were throwing things at a wall. Here, read a list of words. I have no idea why you're reading these words versus other words. And then read this story that it doesn't feel like you were prepared to read. So it didn't work out well for us, although I absolutely loved the style of it, the philosophy of it, the company. It was all lovely. It just didn't work for us. So everyone on the face of the planet, when you say your kid has dyslexia and that you homeschool, talks about all about reading and they do it for a reason. This is an absolutely lovely program. We started it by getting um, a used copy of level three. And that was because I didn't know if we were going to love it. it. It's a very expensive program, so I didn't want to commit to it unless I was pretty sure it was going to work or that we were definitely going to use it. So I got a used copy of level three. Um, unfortunately, it didn't come with the readers and I didn't realize how important that was going to be. I was just like, oh, we've got readers. We've got tons of readers. Um, that was never anything we were shy about owning. We have hundreds of different readers at different levels, we can give her something to read. It will be a struggle, but she will get through it. So eh, hindsight, I should have just bought it from the company. So I did go out and buy level two after my daughter saw the practice, the uh, placement test rather at the beginning of level three and freaked out. Now, she was eight years old at the time and freaks out about just about anything. So grain of salt, hindsight, all that. So we ended up going with level two. I bought it direct from the company. It worked out really well. What I didn't buy is the tiles, the magnet tiles and the big white board and all of that stuff. And here's why. I knew we wouldn't use it. We are fairly mobile. Um, We'll hop in the car, we'll throw everything into a latchmate box and go to a different house. I'll like, you know, we live pretty close to my mom, so I'll just like drive down the street, go down to my mom's house for, you know, a change of location or we'll do school at the park. Or I didn't want to feel tethered to having to be in one room. And I knew I wasn't going to put up with having a big whiteboard on the wall. So we just didn't do the letter tiles and it was fine. She's an older learner for this program anyways. She's very mature despite having some reading issues. So she really didn't need the tiles. What we did instead is we did a lot of work on a little whiteboard. Um, the, you know, like what, 10 by 12 whiteboards that you can get from Target or um, Dollar Tree or any of those places really cheap that are really thin and just throw in a bag. So we've got a bunch of those and we would just keep it with the materials. And when it was whiteboard time to get out your letters and start changing things, we would just write it. And that worked perfectly fine for her. She didn't need the special tiles. She doesn't even know that it was supposed to come with special tiles. So she didn't miss anything. We did do the um, phonogram cards, which actually made sense to me for the first time. Um, as to why we have these cards with just like single letters or double letters and why that needed to be practiced. Um, for the first time, I as an adult am learning the actual rules behind this stuff. So 
uh, we were using the phonogram cards and we understood for the first time why they were important. And like a lot of programs have phonogram cards um, and tell you to do your phonogram cards. They don't tell you why. They don't tell you this is the rule for this and here are the words that it shows up in and here's why it's important and here. And th it's felt like all about reading really slowed down and went into each rule very specifically and spent the entire lesson on that rule. And all the words on all the lists were about that rule and the story used words that had that rule. And you moved things around and wrote things out and did things regarding that rule. And it slowed things down to the point where it seemed important. And it explained it in a way where it made sense. It made sense to me as a teacher and it made sense to her as the student. So fast forward, we've finished all about reading level two. It took about a semester, which I really appreciated The they didn't, you know, cause it's a, it's a thick program, right? It's two like one inch books. So it's, you know, two inches worth of materials. And then you have the readers and then you have, the cards and all this stuff. So it's a lot of stuff. So we finished that and it was great. And she was very happy and she enjoyed reading the books. Um, she thought some of them were a little silly, but she enjoyed them and we're done. And I'll see you on the next slide because we've started level three. So I do want to point out that a lot of kids can get very frustrated and discouraged when they're not on a level that matches their grade. And in homeschool, one of the nice things is that we don't have to use levels that match kids' grades because grades are irrelevant to what the kid actually <laughs> is capable of doing, what's their level. So I, I do really like that All About Reading has so many levels to work on reading. And it seems like from the forums and the Facebook groups and things that there are kids from a vast array of ages doing all kinds of different levels. So there's not a very clear, okay, your four-year-old to five-year-old is doing pre-reading and your five-year-old to six-year-old is doing level one. And da, 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 da. It's like, well, maybe if they're reading on track, but if they're reading on track, they might not be using this program. You know, this program is the, um, what's it called? Like, and I always say it wrong, like Oregon Gillingham. I think that's right. Um, style. So it's, it's, it's very much made for struggling readers, made for um, people who need more of a reading intervention than the people who are three years old, pick up a book and read it without having to have learned anything. And that sounds crazy. If you have a dyslexic kid, it's like, you mean you just speak a foreign language with no effort whatsoever? It's like, yes, actually having met my husband and his family and the people who just read automatically. Uh, yeah, there are people out there that just, they're three or four years old and they just, they can read. It's like no one taught them anything. I don't know how that happens. No clue, but it seems like magic. Anyways, what I like about how short these programs are, um, there's only like less than 60 lessons and, you know, a standard language arts curriculum is going to be 180 lessons or more, right? So you can do it in a semester. You can do it in a full year because it is a level. So you might do it in a full year. Some of the lessons I feel like are very short and you could do two a day. And then some of the lessons are extremely long. And if you did one a week, you'd be fine. And I really love that. And I love that, you know, you can make it as hands on or as um, just open and go as you want it to be. So it's not known for being a particularly open and go thing. Yes, you can open it and you can cut and paste and do the little activities in like during the lesson and all that. You absolutely can. You also can do the entire program without ripping a single thing out of the book because all of the activities in the activity book, the secret is they can be done just by flipping the page over and reading the word list. 
because all it is is a more interactive way to get your kid to pick up a little thing and go, yeah, that says boat. Okay. So you can make it more hands-on if you do all the activities as they're intended. You can make it less hands-on if you just have them read the word boat. They might not like it as much, but <laughs> if you have an older learner like mine, you might also not really have the patience to cut every little thing out and feed it through the monster's mouth or whatever it is. So there's, there's that. But anyways, we finished level two and we moved on to level three. Um, and we're working our way through level three. I'm pretty confident at this pace we'll have it completed um, easily by the time we start next school year. And there's only one more level. So there's level four. And I do plan on getting that and finishing out this program. Um, what I don't have is I still haven't bought the readers. So what we're doing instead is we're just doing all the lessons and we're having her read out of um, some Good and the Beautiful readers that we got on sale when they were like redoing their stuff. So they put like all their readers on sale, which was lovely. So now I've got a bunch of readers and we took a day a couple weeks ago and I would just open the book every, I had like four different levels in front of me of readers and I would just open the book every like 20 pages or something and have a reader page. And that sounds weird, but I was testing to see like, where are we <laughs> like in these different programs? Because their levels are so disparate. Where are we? And I kind of figured out where we were I'm like, okay, so this pretty much aligns with where we're at in all about reading. So we'll go from here and see how it goes. So we're doing that. Um, I would love to go buy the books. I tried to see if they were at the homeschool convention and if I could, if I could just buy the books and you can buy them online. I was hoping there'd be a discount because they're crazy expensive. They are very nice. They are full color, hardcover books, and they will last for multiple kids. And that's lovely, really, really lovely. And I am really, really cheap and I already bought this and I really don't want to buy you know, another 50 bucks in just the readers. But I might, I might go ahead and buy them. Um, but for now, we're not buying them. For now, we're just um, doing the lessons and having her read out of the alternative reader and seeing how that goes. So still loving the program. It's pretty much the same as level two. It is a continuation. It's very fluid transition. It doesn't feel like there's a jump up sometimes when you are doing a um, program it feels like they expected you to learn something over the summer or something it was like why why did it end here and now it's starting way over here um, this doesn't do that this feels like lesson two was on you know the end of the month and the first of the month you start lesson you know, level three and it just goes on. So it feels very seamless and that's lovely. And it even like self-references back to previous lessons, previous levels rather. So that's very helpful. It wasn't as helpful in level two when we hadn't done level one or pre-reading. So uh, that wasn't as good, but level one would have just been like way too remedial for her. It would have been kind of like silly for her to go back that far. Although she probably could have done it really fast. Hmm. I don't know. Hindsight. So we're doing level three. We're really loving level three. Um, we are pretty positive we're going to stick with this program because it actually is working. She's getting better. So like right now what we're working on is fluency. Because if you give my daughter a rule, she will stick to it and she won't progress to the next rule. So working on like, okay, you know how you've been sounding words out? Stop it. You can read the word. Just read it now, please. And then move on to the next one. She also has this like ADD thing where like she'll stop in the middle of the word and then she'll just trail off and like start talking about something else. It's like, no, you have to read the whole word, sweetie. You have to actually finish the word. 
love it. Love homeschooling. It's fantastic. And, you know, I, I'm dyslexic. So it, it, it's always hilarious doing reading lessons with her. Cause it's just like, man, this is what, this is, this is you or me. This, this was me. Thank you. I'm just seeing it all again. It's just a repeat. We're just on a little circle here. All right. Well, I've blabbered on for a while. I hope this gives you some insight into the all about reading program. Um, if you've been considering it for your kids and been hesitant for one reason or another, there are lots of videos on the internet about families that have used this program and really loved it. Um, I have really loved it. So I was hesitant and if you're hesitant, maybe don't be. It's good. It's, it's worth the money. It really is. It's expensive, but it's worth it. All right. Thanks so much. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.